staff in schools um, see children five days a week. So you are best placed to see behaviour changes, relationships between parents and carers and general their peers than a social worker who's a bit like 999. You're only called when there's a problem. You know, you need help and assessment, bring social care. Um, so <clears throat> in school, sometimes there'll be lots of low level little things um, from parents collecting late to not supporting the child's homework. And, and some, some things like emotional neglect are low level things that could be kind of justified. But when you get a massive l log of them, you're then realising, compare them to another peer in that child's class where that's not happening. You realise this poor, you know, this child actually isn't thriving based on, you know, generally stimulation of that family. So it's little things like child may come in with um, very kind of um, empty or very non-nutritional pat lunch mm. or just a sandwich, you know, or very dry pat lunch, you know, or too much chocolatey sweet things, whatever it might be, but inappropriate lunch, basically, mm. um, to child having um, looking unkempt you know, um, but justifying it again. So, for example, washing machines break down, you go to the laundrette. You're not going to let your child continue to go to school with dirty clothes. Do you know make sense? Yeah. Um, likewise, clothes are too small. So, again, as a social worker, I know in practice, we're taught not to be discriminatory and being non-judgmental. However, <laughs> if you've got a family where there's issues around potential buying that child new, new items, yet you've got a parent who looks well-kept, you know, mm. or mum's smoking or mum's, you know, mum's got a new phone, whatever it might be, then potentially, you know, the common sense approach is, well, maybe you're not prioritising the needs of your child. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and sometimes it could be that parent's um, learning difficulty or mental health, whatever it might be, that is a trigger of that. Mm. Again, you wouldn't know that until you start trailing things. And then, so I always encourage schools or childcare settings to do like a chronology, always log things, you know, log a little concern and it could be little but that little sometimes will then become a group of and then you're thinking oh my gosh this is very consistent mm -hmm. and again you have to remember you're only seeing what you're seeing in front of you what's going on behind closed doors we know that's more you know that's multiplied mm -hmm. does that make sense so people make an effort to make themselves more presentable um or sometimes they can't hide it don't get me wrong yeah. but it's about ensuring that the um you know as a school organization you're being honest about it and don't feel that you're judging or discriminating. It's more around putting that child first.